Good. All right, so what we're gonna work on today, right, is uh, the kipping pull-up. I was working with Nadia at uh, the cert this weekend. She had a good way of teaching, a nice, easy progression. Thought we'd kind of put that together for, um, for you guys uh, at the gym. Sometimes we don't spend enough time on this technique work. We want to go ahead and make, make sure you put up a video. First thing we're gonna start off with, right, is we're gonna talk about the kipping pull-up, right? Uh, the main goal here is to use our hips to generate momentum to get our body up over that bar, right? We don't want to pull ourselves, we want to try and pop ourselves. First thing I do with the athletes, I'm going to first have them learn how to simply kick my hands with their feet, right? So I'm asking them to hang from a bar that's high, but they did jump too slightly. I'm just going to put my hands down there and have them touch my hands with their feet. This is jump on. Just hit my hands with your feet. Don't move your hips yet. Just kick my hands. It's right there. Nice and easy. Good. And jump off. Pretty simple, right? We start with just those feet. Next thing we want them to do is we want to learn, we want to teach them how to use their hips, right? So the next place I'm going to go is I'm going to go ahead and put my hand on their back and their stomach. I'm just going to give a cue to try and hit my hands with their back and their stomach. Notice she's getting big here. She's pushing on up the bar with those shoulders, actively using her hip. Jump up. Great. So now we have her have the ability to be able to do that, right? Next thing we want to do is I want to go ahead and have her jump on on her own. Now, no, now I'm going to ask you to stop. So go on your own, just be regular. Hit. Now, stop. Good. Jump off. I want to make sure the individual has control of that, right? I don't want them to be swinging all over the place. After we establish that, the next thing I'm going to ask them to do is to bring their knees up slowly up to their chest. Good. Now notice here, guys. I'm going to jump off. Notice, her hip never reaches full extension, right? Her hip is still closed at this angle. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to have the individual lay on the floor. We're going to teach them how to use their hips, okay? So at this point in time, right, imagine she's on the pull-up bar, her knees are coming up a little bit, and she's going to pop her hips, land on those heels, right? Try it one more time for us. Good. Okay, relax. This is teaching someone how to open up those hips, right? Go ahead and jump off. So again, start with those feet, move to the chest and the, and the lower back. Have them initiate to move those knees, have them pop those hips, and thighs and put those together. So she's gonna get that movement, she's gonna drive those hips and pop. And she's gonna drive from those hips one more time and pop. Good. Okay? So that's the slight, that's the basically the easiest introduction to the pull-up that I've learned. Again, we start off slow and work our way up. Concentration is on that hip drive. It's my wife Ashley, by the way. Uh, the hip drive is the key component. Now, once the individual gets that, the next thing we want to work with them on is how to interlink these, okay? A lot of people, when they come off the bar, I'll just demo this real quick. They'll be doing pull-ups, they'll come up, try to come right back down, boom, boom, they're back to square one. Okay, what we want the individual to do, go ahead and just demo this real quick, we want them to push off the bar actively at the top and keep her feet in front of her. Push off, keep those feet in front. Good, relax. Good. By pushing up that bar and maintaining tension here, keeping those feet in front, they're going to come back underneath and she's going to pop herself back up. And that's really the focus point here to be able to do multiple in a row. You can work that progression just slowly over time. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow.